lot to love in gaming laptops. They're light, portable, and all the hardware is neatly packed into an easy to handle frame. But this is also their greatest weakness. Even non-gaming laptops can trap loads of hot air inside them, so when you add a powerful dedicated GPU to the mix, things can get out of hand. And this isn't the manufacturer's fault. There's only so much that they can do to physically keep such a cramped space cool. So it's up to you as a user to make sure that the cooling system can function properly. And we're here to tell you how. The main culprit when it comes to overheating laptops is improper placement. A laptop wants to be placed on a flat, solid surface, especially when it's under heavy load. When you place a laptop on a soft surface, such as a bed or your lap, you're more than likely blocking some or all of the intake grills on the underside. This means that the laptop can't draw in cool air. On the other hand, when it's placed on a flat surface, the rubber feet make sure that the laptop is elevated enough for the fans to pull in enough cool air to function properly. If you've located these intake grills, then you can still safely place the laptop in your lap if you make sure that you're not obstructing them. If not, you can use anything from a book to a box as a makeshift stand. Of course, if you're placing the laptop to enable optimal airflow or not, eventual dust buildup is inevitable. There's simply no getting around this, so the best thing to do is clean it regularly. We recommend cleaning your laptop at least every three to six months. And believe it or not, there is a simple way to do it yourself that doesn't require opening the laptop. All you need is a can of compressed air, also known as a gas duster. Also, before you start, make sure you turn off your laptop and give it ample time to cool down. Once it's cool, all you need to do is hold it on its sides so as to expose the intake fan grills on the bottom. Now bring the can close to the grill and spray, but make sure that you're holding the can upright, because otherwise some of the liquid air might escape and this can cause damage to the hardware. Move and tilt the laptop around to clean the intake from every angle. Do this until you no longer see any dust coming out, and then repeat the process for each grill. After you've made sure the laptop's own cooling system is working at optimal capacity, you can look towards getting a cooling pad to augment it. Cooling pads are a simple and relatively inexpensive accessory, but they can go a long way towards preventing any overheating issues. And seeing how we'd easily recommend using them even with non-gaming laptops, it's safe to say that they are downright essential if you plan to game on one. A simple one-fan cooling pad is more than enough if you're using a laptop mainly for browsing. But if you're a gamer, you should look towards investing into something with more fans to it. Most 4 to 5 fan pads are in the sub $30 range, so money shouldn't really be an issue, and they pretty much pay for themselves in the long run. Now if you've done all of the above and your laptop still keeps overheating, then it's more than likely that there's a software or a hardware problem that needs taking care of. The most likely scenario is that the hardware simply isn't powerful enough to keep up with what's being thrown its way. A dedicated GPU generates a lot of heat, there's no getting around that, but if it's a low-end GPU that's being pushed to the limit by modern games, the temperatures can easily get out of control. And this goes for CPUs as well. If performance drops are accompanied by heat increase, then that means that your graphics card is reaching critical temperatures. This is a likely sign that you should improve the cooling by getting a cooling pad or cleaning the laptop, preferably both. Of course, if you're dealing with an underpowered GPU, then that won't solve the problem. In this case, it's best to lower in-game settings. GPU-heavy features such as anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion are a good place to start. And by far, the best way to help an underpowered GPU keep up with the times is to lower the display resolution. Aside from that, if you plan on gaming primarily on a laptop, then you should consider investing in an external GPU. It's the best way of reaching desktop level graphics on a laptop. And as an additional benefit, it helps reduce heat generation within the laptop itself. If this is something you'd consider buying, check out the list of the best external GPUs down in the description. And lastly, if your laptop is still overheating despite doing everything in this video, then the fault may very well lie in a faulty fan. Most modern laptops have multiple internal fans to keep all the components cool, especially gaming ones. If one of these were to malfunction, the entire cooling system would be compromised. Short of opening the laptop, the best way to check whether you're dealing with a faulty fan is by ear. Just put the system under heavy strain and listen closely to each of the intake grills. There are two giveaways. The first 
first one is rattling. A faulty fan is likely to produce various rattling and grinding noises long before it breaks down. Anything other than the steady humming of a spinning fan is a dead giveaway that your cooling isn't working at optimal capacity. The second thing to look out for is silence. A fan should not be sitting idly while the laptop is overheating. So if there's no noise whatsoever, then the fan in question is already broken and needs replacing. And there you have it, a couple of things you can do to keep your laptop cool while gaming. If the problem still persists, just remember that tinkering with a laptop isn't as easy as with a PC. It's always best to have your laptop prepared by an authorized professional. In fact, you should never open your laptop if it's still under warranty, as it will void the warranty. Still, if you follow these preventative measures, it hopefully won't come to that. In the meantime, we hope you find this video helpful. If you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.